Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the new dollhouse palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I'm definitely not the first person on YouTube to talk about this. My excuse is that I moved across the Atlantic. It's been a bit of a hectic time, but I'm here. I'm gonna do two looks. I usually do a first and a second impression and I'll let you know my thoughts and then I come back like a month later and I give you my my final verdict about the palette. So I'm gonna do two looks, I'm gonna show you some swatches, I'm gonna give you some thoughts about this palette. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie, I'm such a lover of beauty makeup, I love everything beauty makeup related, especially eyeshadows, and especially in the makeup, and I'm so excited that this video is taking both of those boxes, so let's jump into it. But if you wanna see some more makeup videos, definitely do subscribe because I upload quite a lot of videos. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I'm definitely not the first person on YouTube to be showing you this palette. I did get sent this from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Blend Bunny Cosmetics is an indie brand run by a woman living here in Texas, which is the same state as me. So it's super excited to be uh, receiving this one and be able to try it out. This palette is available now. It is retailing for $45 for all of these shades and you'll be able to get 10% off using the code Jeshka if you're interested. I will leave all the info of that down below. This is Blend Bunny's own like version of a neutral palette and it is like a neutral palette with a little bit of a twist. I'm probably swatching this in columns instead of like rows because it is literally like a more like a warm peachy orange row and then there's like a mauvey purple, uh, it's like a cool tone black row, it's a neutral brown, it's a berry purple and then it's like a more khaki olive one. All of these look really beautiful and um, like I said I'm doing two looks today so I won't be able to give you like my final verdict on these but I'll be able to let you know if I think that this is the same great formula as Blend Bunny Cosmetics usually has. I've heard that she has upped the uh, metallics a bit. I have been a lover of the mattes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I did rank two of her palettes that she had, the two palettes that she had last year. I ranked those in my yearly ranking. Really love the mattes. I thought the metallic needed a little bit more of an oomph and I've heard that these have a little bit more of an oomph. So if you're interested in the other two palettes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics as well that I have, I will leave the video down below where I'm swatching this in case you want to see some swatches. So I think we're just gonna jump in. I am wearing, I love this, it's like a light yellow linen linen shirt. So I thought we'd do something like, like a green khaki. I love that there is a dark row here. It almost looks black, but it's like a, like a blackened olive, a blackened berry. It's like a dark, like bitter chocolate brown. It's a black, it's a purple, and it is a dark, like, not a bitter chocolate, but more like a warmer, <laughs> warmer brown, dark one. It all looks very, very pretty. So maybe we'll do something olive, and I really want to do something with these two. Like, I want to do something with the purple and the orange, and I think that's going to be look number two. But let's zoom in, and let's start with this one here that is called Figure, which is the lighter khaki matte. This is actually the second makeup look that I have on today. So if you see some blue glitter, <laughs> that is from my other look. I also have the brush set here from Blend Money Cosmetics. They came in this little pouch here and there is like blending brushes for the eyes going from like a medium one to like really small ones. These I bought myself because these were released when I was in the middle of a move and I told her don't send them to me because I won't be able to get them before I leave the country. So once I got settled into Texas, I bought these myself. So the palette was PR, but this one I bought myself. Okay, khaki green, that's what I said. This is the biggest of the brushes, the one that's called B5. I'm guessing B for blend, right? And I'm just putting this, I don't really know. Am I gonna do, I think I'm gonna do like a smoky, I'm gonna do a smoky like olive green eye. Cause I wanna use this one that's called Chantilly. This one here, I wanna use that one Ooh. on my entire lid so that I can have like a really smoky smoky look with a dark shimmer. I love doing smoky looks. I think it's so sexy, but I mean, I will say for most times I like something that is brighter and lighter on my lid, but there is also like definitely a time and an occasion for a really sexy smoky eye. And I feel like today is the day and I like to do them in like a different look. It doesn't have to be like a black or a brown. It can be a khaki. So so far, I'm really liking the shade and I'm really liking the color. Ooh, I also can see that I have my settings a little bit too light. Let me, let me fix that. Okay, that is better at least. 
it's not as light i don't know what happened i change my settings about two to three times every time i film because when you zoom in and you zoom out uh, it can get like lighter or darker and i want to like compensate for that so that i show you what i'm seeing like because what i'm seeing is what i'm seeing in the monitor and for me that's very important like what's the point of me trying to swatch things for you and to like show you looks and all of that if i'm not showing you what i'm actually seeing but yeah i'm really liking that i'm not really packing it on i'm just using it in the crease as a transition color before i go in with the deeper color but i'm liking it i think it looks really really pretty I feel like that's a really good, like, olive -y transition shade for me. I'm using the shadow that's underneath now, that's called Madame, which is like that black and olive. And this is on the yeah, B1, which is a small blending brush. Which side did I put it on? Oh my god. Which is a small blending brush, but it has a little bit of a longer bristle, because I saw I also had this one. They're, the size is pretty equal, but the one that I'm using now, the B1, it has longer bristles, so I think that it's going to be easier for me uh, when I'm blending this out, because I don't like when they're too short. So let me use this Madame in the crease. Well, this is going to be the smokiness of the look, I guess. I'm going to use this in the crease, and I'm going to blend it into the transition shadow, and then we're going to put that shimmer on top. Honestly, I might even want that bigger brush for this. I might switch. I might switch to this one that I used before because I am not doing like super detailed work with this. I really like this one. I thought this one was a really good brush for the crease color. Did you hear that? The dog was a little bit patchy here, but that could be me because I'm not going in with this very like in a very smart way when you don't want it to be patchy so i'm just gonna build and blend i'm going in between i'm going in between the lighter and the darker color and i am blending these two out to create that smokiness in the crease i'm gonna use a brush with no additional product and i'm just blending on the edge until I have <laughs> what I like. And then I'll go in and I'll pack some more on here to get rid of the, the like the patchiness from what I know uh, from this brand from before is that it is very buildable. So I'm not worried that I won't be able to like build some more on top. Should I do something under my eyes as well? Maybe I'll use this super small one and I'll use some of this smoky one under my eyes as well. Yeah, definitely. And then I'm blending it out with that lighter. Uh, figure I'm the worst with the names I'm ca I feel like I'm like used to like some brands not having names of their shadows so now I'm just like this one that one instead of like saying the names do you like when there are names in palettes or do you not care I like if the palette is themed I kind of like when there are shade names because it like it belongs to the theme but like if it's not themed I don't really care but if it's a, like a really fun theme, I really like when there are like uh, shade names in there as well to just go with the theme. I think that's fun. So I think it depends on depends on the palette and depends on the theming and depends on the brand as well. If they're usually doing names on their shadows, I think I'm like used to it and I kind of want it, especially if they're good at it. But not all brands are good at like shade names, let me tell you that. But yeah, I think that this is where we are gonna like end up. I might perfect the edges a little bit more once we have the shimmer on and we can like see what the final result is gonna be. What is this? What, what was that? Was that fallout or was that just me being clumsy? <laughs> unsure but i really like the smokiness of this and i like that it's like not too warm it's definitely more of like a grungy like almost i don't know cool tone khaki but still not i don't know it's just not a lot of yellow in it it's a little bit different and i i mean i like it too i like all kinds of colors i just like when brands 
managed to do something that's a little bit different. This is where I'm at right now. It's not a million percent blended and I'm not 100% sure if it's me or the eyeshadows. There's a little piece that's unblended here, but I think that might be me missing with the eye primer a bit, if I'm gonna be honest, because it looks like I just didn't blend out a fold there. Looks better on that side. I don't know, honestly. This is why I need to try shadows more to see how I feel. So I'm gonna use this green over here, this like beautiful, like khaki, olivey, metallic. It is called Chantilly. I think I said that before. I felt like I was repeating myself. Ooh, this is very creamy. Okay, this reminds me of the Glam Light formula and the Beauty Bay formula. Uh, although I will say the mattes, build like the Beauty Bay formula does not, the, the Beauty Bay formula does not build on me. So I hope that this doesn't crease like the Beauty Bay formula does and that it's more like the Glam Light formula that is like this like moussey, creamy metallics, but they don't crease on me, but the Beauty Bay formula does. That is stunning. And I'm not spraying my brush because usually with these, they're a little bit more soft and like creamy in the pan. I don't feel like I need to spray those um, to avoid like excess fallout. I'll still get a little fallout because I always go in with so much shimmer, but at least it's not like all over the place. I am putting this all over my lid. Such a stunning look. And I'm just gently flicking it into the mat to soften this edge. And now I get a little fallout because when you start manipulating a metallic shadow, you will get a little fallout. And now I will go in with that small brush that I had and a little bit of Madame, which is that dark matte. And I will just put that in the outer corner on top of the shimmer. And I will just tap, tap, tap to blend in that. That looks beautiful. Wow. How stunning. Okay, let's use this one is dirty, but let's give it a tr let's give it a try, shall we? I kind of want to use this one. It's called porcelain. I am ooh, I am a big, 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 big fan of a matte in the corner. When you start to have a little bit of lines and folds and wrinkles around your eyes, a matte inner corner highlight is so flattering. Try it if you haven't. I'm just packing it on and then I'm just blending it in a bit just to brighten that area up. But yeah, I really like that. I think that's really, really pretty. I am gonna put on a lash. Usually I do an outer corner lash only. I'm gonna do that now too. I'm gonna just leave it like open and bright and in a corner. I think I'm gonna do that. But I mean, a smoky eye will look really beautiful with just mascara as well because it already is so dark and sultry. I love a lash though, so I'm gonna do that. But, but I really like how this is looking. I think this is really pretty and I don't think that it looks really patchy now, right? I think it was just me being a bit sloppy with, with the primer. Okay, so I decided to come in just real quick and show you like one side with the lashes and one side without. Because I realize that there are going to be people that think that this side is better and that there is going to be people like me that prefer something with a lash. But I think it's just different strokes for different folks. But I wanted to show you like with or without lashes. Now let's finish this up. That is the finished look. That is the olivey smoky eye. I'm really enjoying it. Hi, sweetie. Do you want to come and say hi? Do you want to come and say hi? Oh, you're such a beautiful pop. You're so beautiful. You're so pretty. He's like, it's very light up here, mommy. You're so pretty. You're the prettiest dog in the world. But yeah, this is the smoky olivey eye. I'm really enjoying it. I will link everything down below. Are you ready for look number two? Are you ready for look number two? Mm. Oh, you got lipstick there. Okay, let's get into look number two. It is time for look number two. And I'm wearing one of my favorites lately, which is the... I, I rediscovered this Lux Lip Oil. This is from the Neon Collection from Colourpop. This is in Hot Spark. It is so beautiful. I've been wearing it so much, it's crazy. I want to do, like I said, oh my god, with the purple and the orange. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking we'll start with the purple just to get that on the eyes so that we can like take it from there because sometimes 
it's easy to start with the dark color and just like take it from there so to speak so i'm gonna put this purple out here we're not gonna do a I say this now, but we're not going to do a super dark and dramatic look. So I'm actually going to keep this. Look at me. <laughs> do, do, <laughs> let's see if I can keep myself to this. But I'm just going to keep the darkness to like the outer V. You can see that. I'm just putting a blob here. And I'm just going to have it here. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and only keep it in this outer part. And then I'm going to do the orange. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. This is the one that's called Cinched. Is, is that, am I pronouncing that correctly? Cinched? Some are, like words are really hard in English, like harder than others. So I'm doing the same thing and I'm putting the blob out here. You can see I'm pressing it into the primer. Small circular motions. Blobity blob. I use a clean brush just to smooth out the edges a little bit, but you can see... This is what it looks like. Smooth it out the edges a little bit. And then you go back and forth with the brush that I had the product on. And just like reapplying, smoothing out, making sure that it looks somewhat, I want to say believable, but like it's a purple blob at the end of your eye ever believable. But like you get what I'm saying, right? Right? I'm going to take a clean brush, hopefully. I think I'm going to use like something like this. You can see it's pinched. I like using these kind of brushes under my eyes, but today we're going to use it with the one that's called, <laughs> it's called plastic. It is the orangey one and I, it's more like a, uh, let me pop this off. It's more like a clay soft orange and I'm just putting that on the edge and I am going to blend this above. Like I want to have the orange above. And I'm just dipping in and I'm taking off the excess and I'm just blending above and I'm also going to have that in here oh you can see my primer has like creased again uh, let me fix that <laughs> let me sort that out but yeah i'm gonna use the orange here oh i love orange and purple i usually do it like a little bit more bright than this but i think that this is gonna be perfect and then i'm just gonna just blend it a little bit on top here not trying to blend them together too much though oh, it's itching on my back it's itching on my back because like a purple and an orange doesn't really blend together but just putting a little bit of orange on top now that i have a little bit of that orange here i didn't use too much in the outer part i will go back with the purple and i will blend again over the edge just to make sure that it's like again believable <laughs> You can see it's not that much orange out here. It's just a little tint. But I like go back and forth without blending over. Like I don't use the orange brush to blend over the purple. And I don't use the purple brush to blend over the orange. That will just make it muddy. I'm just trying to go in between and just soften up the edge a little bit. But I mean it's not going to be 100% blended. Because if I blend them together too much... It's going to be a little muddy, but I think this is like where I'm going to keep it. Just a little orange at the outer part, a little bit more orange here on the inner part. Maybe I'll put some more here. I think I'm going to put some of the orange under my eyes as well. Okay, so I blended out the purple, so it's a purple blob with a little bit of the orange around, just a soft layer, and I also put a little orange here at the edge, and I think I'm gonna use, I kind of, like, I really like this porcelain shade, this one that is a little lighter, oh my god, are you seeing anything? <laughs> this one here that is a bone-colored matte, I think I'm gonna be using that one. I mean, I could be using, this one is more of a peach, and I kind of want to use this one that is like a beige, and I do want to do an all matte look. You know I love an all matte look. I think matte looks are just, they're just everything. I know I've been going on and on and on about this on my channel, and you're probably sick and tired of it, but let me tell you, all matte looks is so flattering if you have like fold you see i have a fold here and i have like a little bit of a divot here i also have a divot here in this area and it's like i can't i can't make up a way like stuff like that especially if i put shimmers on top of it so sometimes it's just nice to do something that is 
flattering even though i'm not really about that makeup look i will say that all matte looks when you start to get a little bit of an aging eye which i am i mean i'm i just turned 38 <laughs> so and ha listen i'm happy about it i'm alive i i got to live for 38 years that's amazing i'm just saying that sometimes it's nice to wear makeup that is flattering even though sometimes i don't and when i don't I'm still loving it. <laughs> when I don't, I get a lot of comments saying, you're not supposed to do your makeup like that. But listen, do your makeup in a way that makes you happy. I'm really liking this. Oh my God, I'm here. Hello. <laughs> okay, I feel like I've brightened up the look. I really like how this is looking. Okay, so I brought out this one. This is the color pop. I don't know if this is available still, but this is the puppy, but this is an orange eyeliner. I mean, you can use a, a like a bone colored eyeliner or something that is nude for you in the waterline or a white if you just really want to brighten it up. But I thought I'd bring the orange in here as well. Okay, so this is where we are. And I have to say, I feel like this look really represents the palette. Like the palette is a neutral palette with a twist. It's Blend Bunny's version of a neutral palette. I feel like this is not too dramatic, but it's still a little bit of a twist, but it's like... I mean, I go out in all my makeup looks, but I feel like it's not too out there. Am I correct? I am going to put on some half lashes because I always wear lashes, but I will say like just a look like this with mascara. I feel like that's perfectly fine, but I'm going to put on some half lashes and I am... If you're wondering why I'm talking a bit quieter in this video it's because my husband is actually working from home today and he's having a meeting in the room next door so i don't want to be like shouting so his colleagues is like who's this crazy lady in the background <laughs> here we are the look is done uh, my hair is doing all kinds of weird stuff but i am having a cat hair on my lip and i'm ready for brunch really do enjoy this look like i said i feel like this represents the palette like in neutrals did i already put the palette back wow i put the palette in my like monthly haul basket but i feel like this look represents the palette like a neutral with a twist like it's not bright but it's still color like it's something a little bit out of the norm personally my favorite palette from blend bunny is the surge and i think it's mainly because of the color story like the grunches the colors the neons i do prefer the shimmer formula in this new palette over the other one though and she did say that she spruced up the shimmer formula a bit and i i agree the shimmer formula is even better in this one and i hope that maybe with time she'll be able to up the shimmer formula in the search palette as well to be the same as it is in the dollhouse palette if you love neutrals but you want to step a little bit outside of your comfort zone i think that this dollhouse palette is a perfect one if you feel like this palette is slightly too big you know me i prefer something that is slightly smaller she did hint that she's coming out with a smaller palette in the future and i am Crossing my fingers that I'm going to love the color story of that one because I really do like the quality of Blend Bunny. I will leave all the things that I am wearing and the links and like the code if you want to purchase something from Blend Bunny down below. Uh, I really did enjoy the, the like eye brushes as well. I've used them actually quite sometimes in between look number one and look number two for other looks. So I really do enjoy those as well. I wanted to mention also that I normally have five videos a week. That's like my thing on my channel. But in February, there will be four four videos a week because I have a lot of stuff going on like I just moved across the world and I'm also going on vacation with one of my best friends Heather Austin we're going on a vacation so there will be four videos a week in February and I know you're going to be okay with that so tomorrow the video that's going to be on my channel is my member exclusive tutorial so if you are a member of my channel you will get the member exclusive tutorial tomorrow and if you're not a member there will be a video on Wednesday instead and if you want to become a member and see the tutorial the link is down in uh, the description box and also a button next to the subscription button down here. If you want to become a member and get access to the member exclusive tutorials and the member exclusive emojis, that is down below. And then you can go and check back on the community tab because I always post the videos there when they go live. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again either tomorrow or on Wednesday. Bye!